Welcome to As I See It, an opinion piece series in gaming by ties that bind gaming. Episodes are short and we have games to play, so let's get right to it. The Ludo demo has a lot of atmosphere and ambience. When atmosphere and ambience work well together, this is when you have a solid foundation for a horror video game. From start to finish, I felt sadness, loneliness, and dread. About Ludo Ludo is a first-person psychological horror narrative experience that plunges you into grief and despair. You play as an individual trapped within the confines of your home, unable to escape the haunting memories that torment you. As you explore the shadowy corridors and decaying rooms, you'll uncover the truth behind your imprisonment and confront the darkness that lurks within. The demo masterfully blends psychological horror with surreal imagery, creating an unsettling atmosphere that will stay with you long after you've finished playing. The distorted environments and eerie soundscape will send shivers down your spine, while the disturbing narrative will challenge your perception of reality. The title screen. I love the title screen. I'm not saying this is anything new, but I love the aesthetics and flow of this particular title screen. While on the title screen, there is a hint of ambient music in the background. A grain filter helps bring out the analog horror vibe. Once the title screen fully loads up, it sits there. A closed door is in front and center, and chains hang from the ceiling on both sides. There is a sticky note on the door that has the choice written on it, representing the title of the demo. When I press the start option, I get a wave of atmosphere and dread. Right from the title screen, the menu disappears and your character begins to move toward the door. As this happens, the door opens and an intense rush of air blows over you, disguised by a crescendo of atmospheric whoosh sound effects. You enter the door and move into a hallway. There are stacked boxes in one corner, a few windows give off some light, and there are a few closed doors. As you enter the hallway, the sounds die down and you begin your journey. The Ghostly Entity In the Ludo demo, there is a ghostly entity that you will encounter. I'm not going to go into much detail about this ghost because you need to experience it for yourself. I will say that the entity wears a white sheet, and there are neat ways the entity uses this sheet to its advantage. Who would have thought that wearing a sheet could be creepy? It works well because the entity is very much horrifying. Watch my playthrough of the Ludo demo or download the Ludo demo and play it yourself to experience this ghost. As I see it, I enjoyed the Ludo demo a lot. As I have already mentioned, I felt a lot of emotions as I went through the game. It's sad and creepy. These are common elements of a horror video game. There are other common elements as well. However, the Ludo demo does a decent job of making itself stand out among others. One of those elements that stands out is the attention to detail. There are plenty of visual cues to pay attention to and they will give you clues about what this character is experiencing. The entity looks incredible too. When it moves, it's just creepy. It looks like a real person under the sheet. I think the Ludo demo is worth giving a try. It's free so it can't hurt. I'm looking forward to playing through the finished product. Thank you for joining me today on As I See It. Please subscribe to the Ties That Bind Gaming channel on YouTube and through your favorite podcast platform so you know when new episodes arrive. Have a great day. Game on!